Hey guys, this is Dan with the Weberon, and today I'm going to be showing you how to zoom and crop your external camera on your desktop to fit your Weberon perfectly in OBS. This is useful if you use OBS as a virtual camera, a live stream program, or just to record content with the Weberon. The whole process should take about two minutes. Let's get into it. Let's start off by navigating to OBS's website and downloading the latest version. If you have OBS downloaded already, you can just ensure that it is updated. Once you've finished installing OBS, let's open up the program. Depending on if you installed OBS for the first time or updated it, you may get this auto configuration wizard pop up. In most cases, we recommend selecting I will only be using the virtual camera, clicking next, and then selecting the preset resolutions that OBS gives you. First, let's go ahead and add a camera into OBS. Navigate to the bottom left of OBS and in the sources box, right click, hover over add, and select video capture device. Name the device whatever you'd like. The video capture device window will pop up now. Click on the drop down menu next to the device and select the camera you'd like to use. In this window, you'll also see the options to change the resolution and the FPS of the camera. In most cases, keeping a default will run the device at the best quality. However, if you want to adjust it, we recommend a resolution ratio of 16 by nine or four by three and ensuring that it's HD, which would be 1920 by 1080, 1280 by 720, etc. Once finished, click okay. All right, now that we've added the camera, let's add a crop to it. As you can see, some of the corners are showing with the web around and we don't want them present in the final shot. Let's navigate to our camera source in OBS and right click, select filters. This will open up the filter settings window. Let's navigate down to the effect filters box and right click within it and select crop pad. Here we can now apply a cropper pad in pixels to the camera. We want to put enough of a crop so that the corners are covered, but we will also still be able to move around freely. Once you found the right amount, click close. Now you'll notice that there is some black area showing on the camera. We want to make sure that the camera source takes up the entire preview window. Otherwise, that black area will show up in your recording, your live stream, or your meeting software. To do this, we're going to be zooming in the camera. First, navigate to the camera source and ensure that it is unlocked. Next, click on the camera source. You'll notice in the camera preview window that a red outline appears around the camera source. Navigate to a corner and drag it in or out as necessary. As mentioned, you'll want the entire camera source to cover the preview window. Once you have it set to where you want, we recommend going back to the camera source and clicking on the lock icon once more so that it doesn't move. And you're all done. You've now cropped and zoomed your external camera in OBS. If you have any other questions regarding cropping or zooming your external camera, feel free to leave a comment down below or email us directly. Contact information is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.